Hello there. We're gonna play a video game today. We don't do that very often on this channel, but today we are. I found this game. It's free on Steam. I haven't played it. I've just seen screenshots. And those gave me goosebumps. It's basically Liminal Space, the game, or, you know, the whole Backrooms meme. If you don't know what that is, I made a video about Liminal Spaces. I'll link it down in the description. Okay, so you can go there, check it out. It's basically a space that has, like, an un canniness like a certain emptiness to it it feels uncomfortable you know there are lots of real spaces like that you can check the liminal spaces subreddit as well for for references uh, there's also spaces that are a little bit like dreamlike like you're walking in a dream nothing is right but you can't really put your finger on it so that's what this game is hopefully we're gonna play it it's called the complex found footage okay I don't know what to expect Again, it's free on Steam. Download it, play it for yourself. We're jumping right into it. Okay, I'm gonna insert the tape. Are you guys ready? Let's go. Oh, am I? Oh, uh, okay, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure. I'm actually not really sure, but... Let's try. Let's try. Nineteen ninety. Oh boy. <coughs> Putting the volume up a little bit for me. In nineteen ninety I was eight years old. So here I am. Oh god. Oh god, I already hate it. This is awful. Let me see if I can I, I don't think I can even adjust like the mouse sensitivity, so we're gonna have to live with this. We're gonna have to live with this high mouse speed. Oh god, you know what I mean? Like... It's just eerie, bruv. You kind of expect something behind every single corner. And I'm already terrified. I don't even know why. So this is kind of the classic backrooms design, right? You've, I'm sure you've seen the backrooms memes. I think I'm wearing like a hazmat suit or something to see the little smudges on my screen there. That's not on actually on my screen. That's probably on the on the mask of my hazmat suit. Now, obviously, this is designed that you would see something peeking or terrifying you jumping from behind the corner. I don't know if that's actually what's going to happen. Again, I've just seen, I think, six screenshots of this on Reddit. And I thought I'd play it with you guys. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm doing these things to myself, but... I'm glad you're with me. Glad I'm not alone. Oh, I can run. I can run. Good God, what's that? I, I can't do anything else. Let me try a few keys. No. I thought there was something lying on the floor, but it wasn't. Oh. So we can follow that line, I guess. I would not dare to go into any of those very dark spaces. That would... Oh, okay. So they all point to that wall. Let me try to run into the wall. That didn't work. Alright. So far, so good. It's like... It feels like a never-ending maze you know I probably now already I would not find my way back to where I came from oh hello oh no this is not do you know do you know I mean I hope I, I remember I had some comments under my under my original video about liminal spaces where people like I don't get it bro I don't understand what you're talking about, liminal spaces, but 
I mean, surely you must feel something looking at this, right? It, it feels so eerie. Even nothing is happening, and, and you can't can't say why it just all feels wrong it feels unnatural can I I can't push the buttons all right is there anything back here I think this might be a dead end oh god Oh god, I thought the light just went off in that room. Okay. So far so good. I'm being brave. I'm being brave. Okay, I'm manning through this. So, over there... You can kind of... Seems like you can go under that little gap, but can I duck or crouch? Oh, I can crouch. Okay, fair enough. So let me try to crouch under here. Uh, but that's really about it. I climb up here. I can't jump or climb, do anything. I can just wander around. And feel eerie. That's what I can do. Is there anything about that box? You hear that, right? You hear that too. That comes from behind that wall. Good God, man. No, no, no. I don't think I don't think we can do anything here. There is like an electric wire. It seems like going to there. But uh, nothing else there to explore, it seems like. All right. Um, I checked that corner back there, so we're going to go back to here. Even that's a bit strange. There were only like really dark corners. I'm not going to go into those. Oh yeah, okay. What is that? Good God. Every corner you sneak around, you're just like... So creeped out by this. directory. Oh, it's a mall. There's a Macy's. There's a JC Penny. Like you would find them in any derelict mall. Okay. Let's get social. Follow us on Facebook. That's the creepiest thing I've seen so far. The Facebook logo. Alright, let's go. We're going down. And by the way, I do follow all those uh, derelict mall subreddits as well. There's like a whole... I don't think many things on this earth are as well documented as derelict malls. Like there are whole YouTube channels dedicated to dying malls and people go through them, break into them and just film the inside of dying malls. Oh god, man. Every corner... Oh. The sound design. Oh, good God. So here we just have more back rooms. And then over here. I hear water. Do you guys hear water? I think I can climb over here. I'm not sure I want to. Let's keep going. I decided to explore this way. So this is strange because the angle of the floor just changed. Oof. 
That messed with my brain right there. Can't open the doors. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. A nice and cozy home. Someone even put a rug down. Oh god, man, this is... Like, the subtlety of it, honestly. Like, this just creeps me out way more than... other horror games. That would be, like, jumping in your face. Also, notice, like, on a different note... All this stuff looks fairly realistic, right? Yet they use very simple textures. And the lesson to be learned here is that you don't need incredibly detailed textures necessarily. Oh god, that chair. To create an eerie feeling or to make a good looking game. It's the lighting. It's all about the lighting. That chair, man. Why is it like that? Why? I swear to God, I'm going to get nightmares from this game. I, I, this will haunt me tonight in my dreams. There's a gallery. And that's water. Let me see if I can... can't really jump into it. Whoa. Goosebumps, bruv. Oh god, I thought I saw something back there. Do you see that? Do you see that irregular looking shadow? Do you see that? That's what I must have seen. Oh god, I, I, oh god, no. Okay, so the gallery only shows picture frames apparently. gonna run towards it. Okay. It's art. Good god, it's just art. Oh, thank god. I mean, that is a nice model. Do you know what I mean? Someone put work into that. Oh, I hate it. I hate this game, honestly. I really do. Oh, this space is... So what we see through this window... Unfortunately, I can't go down there, it seems like. What we see through this window is... A famous liminal space. You see it posted over and over again on the liminal space subreddit. And it is actually an airport hotel... At Heathrow, London. And what they do is they build like a whole outdoor space inside and it feels so weird. Like, I don't know why they built that. But if you Google liminal space Heathrow Airport Hotel, you will certainly find it. It's like you're looking into a courtyard, but it's it has a roof over it. The frick is that? That sounds like a machine or something. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything over here. We're going to go to visit the machine in a second. Or that where that noise came from, but just check. So it, it seems like it's... Uh, this is... Do you know what I mean? You come around the corner, it's just disgusting how it feels. There's an elevator. I'm going to go in. There is the risk that this thing just takes off now. Oh god. It does. Oh. Oh god. Okay. And I'm sure, like, some of you guys watching this will be not understanding what, why I'm saying oh god all the time. They'll be like, 
Bruv, it's just a tiled room with some some water. But you don't understand, man. Don't understand what it does to me. It makes me feel not right. Everything here makes me feel not right. So it's a little bit like the Stanley Parable, if any of you guys remember that game. Um, it seems like in the regard that you have to constantly make decisions, right? I can go left or right, or earlier I could go where the machine sound was coming from, or take the elevator. So there is probably a little bit of replayability in this. Um, in terms of like just taking different routes, but I'm not sure I want to replay it. I'm not gonna lie. The aesthetics are spot on though, I gotta say like, oh wait a second. What is that? Ugh. Ugh. Why? You know, why would someone put these different sized sofas and couches there? It, it makes no goddamn sense, man. I mean, it's huge and terrifying. That's what it is. And it seems like there's another elevator. Is that right? It looks like one. Oh god, we're gonna have to walk along the edge. What are those? What are those brown spots? Are they like drains? They're drains. Oh god, okay, fine. Ugh, I want to make it out of this tiled world. The tile world was awful. I'm not going to lie. Water and tiles, not my cup of tea. Good God. Have a drink, you know. Get a little bit, you know, get more guts to move forward. The dining hall. We made it, guys, finally. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Th that is... It's all wrong, man. None of this should be this way. <gasps> you saw it. You saw it. You saw it. You saw it. There was a little head moving or some little round thing moving in the shadow over there. Dude, 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 no, no, no. We, so we can't go that way. Oh god, no, we can't go that way. That is impossible. We're going this way. This is not much better, but... Oh god. No, this is leading the same way. Okay, this... Okay, in this room, it's bright. It's at least it's bright. Okay, so... Okay, I guess we're gonna have to... Just be brave. That was... That was not... Not nice. We're going to the elevator. This like I want to get away from that creature or whatever that was. Something moved. And for a second I thought it might be like a light dangling or something. But it only moved once. You saw the shadow. Hello? I 
can't go here. Okay, that doesn't work. God, it makes me all tense and shit, man. It makes me tense. This was... It keeps getting worse. I thought the tiled water world was terrible, but... Alright. We're... We're back in the back rooms. But I can't tell whether this is literally the same space we've been in before. Or whether it just looks the same. I don't think I've been here because I probably would remember this one column that's like off center, right? I think I would remember it. We're pushing, pushing deeper. Another elevator here. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Any time now. Uh, oh, wait, this is the elevator I came from. I'm such an idiot. I walked like a small circle and then. I'm <laughs> just like, I just want to get away from it. What is this? Wherever I am, I want to get away from it. Okay, what do we have here? Okay. There's a brick wall up there. Oh god, no. No, no, no. hear that? The sound suddenly stopped. Danger. Chemical storage. That's what it says. So what, what like, what's this? What, what is the purpose of this? Please. I just want to find anything that has any obvious purpose. Like a, a theater or something? You know? Couldn't you imagine like a nice kid's birthday here? All the kids there? Is a performance happening over there? No, I couldn't either. I couldn't either. My hands are all sweaty and uncomfortable. So again, it's decision time. I'm gonna this time walk forward. Let's see where that goes. We are presented with a corner of green wallpaper. Lovely. And there's absolutely nothing here. Okay, fair enough. I can't take that route then. Honestly, man, whoever put this together should be working on horror games because the subtlety, the subtlety of what he does here to my mind by basically doing nothing, right? There is no monster or anything. Everything that happens is like incredibly subtle. Um, it's just really on point and I feel that a lot of horror games struggle with that. A lot of horror games are too much over the top. Too much is happening. And they're like, no, look, nothing happened for two and a half minutes. Something has to happen. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. You saw it. I saw it. Oh, no. Okay, it's bright enough for me to take a peek. That looked like a bunch of arms or something, right? Did that look, look not look like three arms or something? It was right here. Jeez. 
Jesus Lord, man. I really hope that there's not like a jump scare moment at the end of this. I really hope so. Oh, good God. Because if there is, I might die. Honestly, I might get a freaking heart attack. If by the end of this something jumps into my face. I won't make it. I don't think I'll make it. In general. Okay, 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 okay. I just got it. Pull it, pull it together. Get it together, bro. Come on, man. You're an adult man. I think should throw you off. Oh no, we've been here. This is... This is where we came from. Oh my god. Okay, what are we gonna do? I don't think... I don't think there's anything back here. Freaking hate it. Oh god. Jesus Christ. I swear to God. I swear to God, man. I'm sweating. Like, I'm sweating. I'm hot, and it's not because it's hot in this room. Okay. Concrete land. We've moved into concrete land. What? Oh. Are we outside? No way. <sighs> that literally shook me. Houses are way too small, right? And I don't think we're outdoors. I think this is like a fake ceiling. The fake stars sky, like fake stars. Alright. Okay, we're checking out one of the small houses. Bra. 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 Bra, it's getting worse. Bra. No. Uh. I don't want to play this game anymore. I changed my mind. anymore. I changed my mind. This is a, ho a horrible game. It's absolutely awful. Oh. God damn, those houses that are right underneath like this bridge or whatever. It's not good. The whole thing is not good. Let's keep going. Let's just move on. I really need more, more of this wine I'm drinking. I swear that red light that just switched on in that street that like terrified the living hell out of me.
Okay. What is this, the Antarctica or something? Not leaving footsteps in the snow. Alright, let's go. Take a peek, or oh, can I peek through the window? I thought I just heard some other footsteps. Let's go in. Okay. I mean, there's not much, not many places I can go from here, right? Better be something in those three houses. Let's take a look. I do love the lighting though, I gotta say. Oh. A traveler has been here before. And I can't interact with anything. And these shoes, it's too big. It doesn't make sense. Men, women. Oh, bathrooms. Can I go to the bathroom? No, obviously not. Like, you know, all these little details, like the... Oh, here we got an elevator. All these details, like the doorknobs that are just like scattered around the door and in the wrong place. It's it's all those really subtle details that just give you the creeps. They slowly grind you down, you know? It's, it's this dreamlike quality. Nothing is quite right. But you can't really say what it is. It's just a room with a bunch of doorknobs, but it feels so wrong. I just created my own found footage tape. Wow. Guys. Isal created the game. I love it, man. You did a great job. Farsight lore made the music. Dude, man. Those guys nailed it. That creeped the living hell out of me, honestly. I don't ever want to go back into that thing again, ever. I mean... Okay, if you guys leave comments and say, please go back into the thing, then I might do it. But not in the near future. Some areas heavily inspired by Kane Pixel's back rooms. Okay, yeah, because there is another game. I don't recall the name, but it's like back the back rooms or something. Good God. That creeped me out, man. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm glad that nothing jumped into my face at any point. And, uh... And haunted me, like hunted me down the corridor. So I had to run away. That would have been terrifying. But Jesus Christ. That was hell on earth. I appreciate you being part of this. Joining me in this little journey. I hope you enjoyed my, my personal found footage tape. And um, let's never do that again. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. And let me know in the comments what you think. Take care. Bye.